So how about this? Charges for Alec Baldwin could be back on the table in the wake of a new report claiming that he did pull the trigger on the gun that killed cinematographer Helena Hutchins on the Rust movie set almost two years ago. The actor has long insisted the opposite. It wasn't in the script for the trigger to be pulled. Well, the trigger wasn't pulled. I didn't pull the trigger. So no. you never pulled the trigger? No, 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 no. I, I would never point a gun at anyone and pull a trigger at them. Never. Never. So involuntary manslaughter charges against Baldwin were dropped back in April, reportedly because new evidence revealed that the gun had been modified before he handled it, which would line up with what he said. But now... A new expert analysis has been done for Santa Fe special prosecutors who say, quote, the trigger had to be pulled or depressed sufficiently to release the fully cocked or retracted hammer of the evidence revolver. Steve Wolf is a weapon safety expert for films. He's been involved in investigations of accidental movie set shootings, including the 1993 shooting of Bruce Lee's son, Brandon Lee. He's serving as an expert witness in the civil suit against Baldwin, brought by relatives of Helena Hutchins, and also a suit brought by the Rust script supervisor. Steve, good to have you back on the program. Thank you for being here. Can you explain this to everybody at home in simple terms about what they thought the gun had been modified, but now they say it hasn't. What are they talking about? Uh, they're talking about uh, how how much effort has to be applied to the trigger to make the gun fire. So if you pull this back, you know, and you press here, the gun fires. Uh, if you find that this is just too difficult for you, you know, people have modified this to make it easier to fire the gun. And it's irrelevant mm -hmm. because... There's no part of gun safety that relies on any part of the gun to be working properly. When we say, you know, all guns are always loaded, okay, well, you know, you either loaded it or, or you check that it was empty. That doesn't depend on the gun, right? If they, we say, you know, don't put your finger on the trigger, well, you do or you don't. I mean, I saw photographs that he did. Uh, if they say, don't point the gun at somebody, and he did, then he's breaking the rules. So gun safety doesn't rely on mechanical parts because mechanical parts are always subject to fail. And so the idea that the gun being modified or not would have any relevance to the case is moot. So, but if it, he was arguing that it had been modified and that it, it released without him doing anything, without him pulling the trigger, and now this analysis is saying that that is not possible, that he had to have, is that correct? That is correct. That is correct. So let me turn this around so you can see exactly what we're talking about here. If I'm holding the action revolver and I have my finger on the trigger, I'm not, to my knowledge, pressing it, right? I'm just holding it, but I'm actually applying sufficient pressure that if I then cock the gun and release it, it fires. Mm. So, so it'll fire without me pressing the trigger because I'm already pressing the trigger. And so in that instance, it's possible for both people to believe that they're right. He says, I didn't press the trigger, meaning he didn't deliberately press the trigger. And it's also not possible to have caused the gun to fire unless there had been pressure on it at the same time. So there was a prior um, prosecutor in this case who's not there anymore, but, but they spoke with Jan Judge Janine back in January. And, and here's what she said. This is Andrea Reeb and Mary Kalmick Altwise. Watch. And we definitely believe he pulled the trigger. Um, the, the FBI lab report confirms that. Mr. Baldwin had a duty at, his, at the base level to never hold a gun and point it at a person while pulling the trigger. We believe Baldwin, as a producer, knows everything that goes on on this set. And so, there, yeah, there was a lot of problems. There was a lot of, uh, there were a couple accidental discharges. Um, there was a lot of safety concerns that were brought to the attention of management, and, and he did nothing about it. You're nodding, Steve. Real quick reaction. Yeah. Well, as soon as you find out that someone is, is dangerous, you get them off your set. And this particular armor had safety complaints against her from her prior movie, which was her first movie, yeah. and then again on her second movie, and they did nothing to remove her or replace her with somebody. So they allowed a dangerous okay. situation to persist. All right, we'll with regard where... to the FBI lab, yeah. who are you going to believe, the FBI or Alec Baldwin's lawyers? Okay. Uh, we'll be watching. We'll see if he faces new legal jeopardy in this situation and how that would work. Uh, Steve Wolf, thank you. Always good to see you. Thanks a lot.
Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.